Hi everyone, it's Dasha Dave here again, and back for another crafty video. So, today I am going to make some Christmas decorations. Now these are the ones that I've cut out on the Cricut. Okay, so um, the reason I'm going to make them is two, it's twofold. Uh, a, I am absolutely freezing cold, um, and I just need to keep warm. My fingers are so cold, and the central heating is on and it's you know the radiator is doing the best that it can um, but the weather here is frightful and there's a song that you can sing if you like um, <laughs> but I won't because I don't want to you know cause you any more pain so and the other reason is I am making them to try and stay awake now the reason why I want to tr try and stay awake is because um, I have today achieved a 15 hour day on um, three hours of sleep um, and I need to stay awake until it's late enough for me to go to bed so that I don't wake up at another silly time. Now this morning was because I got called out um, on an alarm call out um, but um, if I don't, if I go to bed too early, I'll just wake up because I'll have had enough sleep. And so, but I don't want to be doing that. I don't want to be awake at four o'clock in the morning. Or this morning it was three o'clock in the morning, um, and I had to go over to one of our sites. And then once I'd finished there, I went to work and did my day work. And so far this week, bearing in mind I'm recording this on Thursday evening. I have already done 45 hours of my 37 of my 37 hour week um, and that's not including my YouTube video hours so I, I spend about six hours on a Sunday recording on uh, on a Sunday or well, six hours on a Sunday recording on a Sunday that's interesting isn't it um, so I've become a bit incoherent and you know garbled you know why uh, so yes, I'm a bit sleep deprived, I am absolutely shattered and I'm doing this to kind of stay awake and also because I know I need a video for tomorrow, um, it being Friday and I'm trying to stay committed to my three videos a week even though it's Christmas and I'm trying to be in 52 different places at once. Um, I'm like Santa, I'm trying to be in all places at once for everyone. Um, so I will I will try to commit to doing those, um, to still doing three videos a week, but you know, forgive me if there's like odd one missing from the week. Uh, and that's because you know, we've got to do Christmas shopping and all of that at this time of year. Um, obviously, I will be doing my um, my advent for Tracy Fox, so that's on the 22nd of uh, December it's currently the 30th of November um, so I'll be doing that um, I have an idea for what I'm going to be doing but I'm obviously not going to tell you you just have to tune in and watch um, and uh, that's for the um, December daily uh, so I'm really lucky to be part of that um, you can find the details on Tracy Fox's website so I will give a link in the description if I remember with my three hours of sleep and my long day so um, yeah so I just wanted to poke all of those out right okay so what I'm going to do is I'm, I've got a couple of things I wanted to assemble some of them are more three-dimensional than others I've got some 3d tape I've had this for so long I don't even know whether it's still sticky it's kind of sticky. <laughs> they do lose their stick after a while. So I'm going to do this one first, I think. And this is like a candle. So this is just a cricket thing. And I don't really know. I know that you have to... It doesn't have a hook on which to stick any of the stuff to. I just need to figure out what I need to do. So it's a layering up jobby. Right. Oh, maybe that way around, or maybe oh no, maybe that it is supposed to be in the middle. Oh no, that'll have to be that way up because 
Yeah, that's right. That's that. And then like that, I think. And then that goes on there. Like, yeah, like that. And then that goes on there. Like that. I'm not sure what these things do. I think I think there was supposed to be two of these, but I don't know where the other one's gone. Um, ah, Holly. There was two. Who knows where the other bit is? I'll have to do. I maybe have to do one for now, or I could cheat. I could cheat, couldn't I? No, I know how to cheat. I've I've been here before. I know what I know about cheating. Um. I could use some of the card that I cut it out of, which is this. I can, you can tell I had a bit of a problem getting a nightmare getting that, that out. Um, and I will cut three. Let's see. Yeah, look, it did cut two out, but I don't know where the other one's gone. So I can cut one, two, three, like that. Maybe I want that, all of them then like that. Keep it the same. Two, three. Just might as well use the the spare bit there. And I get them out of there. And I can turn them into things. So you know what it is. Um, what is it? Necessity is the mother of invention. Necessity is the mother of invention. So that's why I'm making that. So yeah, I'm trying to stay awake. So. <laughs> suddenly become delirious you know why so I guess you could do it with some kind of 3d tape but I don't know whether do I want to try and do it with 3d tape is it gonna be a bit I did I did have at some point I had a box that had um, sticky buds sticky pads in but right, that, that very end is not very sticky because that hasn't been stuck to anything now I'm going to have to use a pair of scissors that is going to get really sticky. Oh, hang on. maybe these because they're already sticky by the feel of it. There. Okay, so let's see what it's like if I do. All right, those scissors aren't sticky at all; they're all stuck to it. I'm going to, that would have to be cut down more than that. That's not quite sticky actually still. Maybe do that. I guess um, you know, I'll, I can I can always mess it up. <laughs> There's always that chance. So I want to leave that because I want to put a ribbon on it, which I can use this piece of this. There isn't, I haven't got a hot, I think I was trying to tell you that before and I don't know whether I carried on with the sentence or whether I stopped talking. So yeah, it doesn't give you a loop to loop through like these do. So you kind of just have to stick them together and then stick it on there. So I'll do that now. Those two ends can get stuck together. And that bit can get stuck. But you don't want to say have it seen like children. Oh no, not like children. Opposite of children. Not seen and not heard. This should not be heard or seen. So shut up, Dave. Don't know what I'm talking about. Shut up, Dave. Just shut up, Dave. It's the delirium talking. So. Anyway, so I hope you've had a good week, and I hope you've been also prepping for the um, the big day. If you celebrate it, obviously, if you don't celebrate it, then you know you might might be you know laughing at the rest of us, going ha ha ha, the fools that follow such silly traditions. But I do love Christmas. I am a a big fan of Christmas. Um. Can't help it. Bit of a big kid when it comes to Christmas, to be fair. So I 
go all out for Christmas. Um, hopefully that's not going to be too deep. Oh no, that's fine. Oh, well, I think it's fine. I don't know how it will hang. Um, we'll soon find out, won't we? So I'm going to have to take this off, the backing off. Should use my knife and see if I can slice something off as well, like a finger. Um, yeah, so I do like all of the stuff, and I have make my, I've made my own traditions. I think I've spoken about this in a previous video. You know, you kind of uh, traditions evolve. So you know, there's the traditions of your ancestors, and then you've got new things that come along because there's new people in your families that help it to grow and and change and evolve, and you know you. Have all have a different perspective of Christmas. I mean, like a lot of things are very similar. You know, most people have a tree. Um, I always have a real one, just because I've always liked real trees. Um, I, for me, it's not Christmas unless I've got a real tree. I have tried a, um, an artificial tree, but I just couldn't get on with it. I liked. I like having the real tree. Um, I like the asymmetry. The asymmetry, yeah, asymmetry. That's the word. I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say asymmetricalism, but <laughs> that's not a word, so I won't. Um, I like the asymmetry of it, of a a real tree, whereas a you know a artificial tree is very. Symmetrical. Oh, this is not going to go well today, is it? So, never work with Dave. Uh, animals, children, or Dave that hasn't had any sleep. So, well, I've had sleep, Dave. Exaggerating. You, just, you have had sleep, you just haven't had enough. So, if it's not a thing of beauty, then neither am I. So it doesn't matter. It's mine. It's, it's mine. Oh, I think that's the other one. Oh well. Oh well. Found it now. Never mind. I'm not going to use it now. So this, because this has been, so that's going to go on there. So that's going to need a bit behind it. So that's going to need two bits behind because it needs to be compensate for the depth of that. So I've stuck that to the desk. This is painful to watch. I'm <laughs> I can only apologise. I don't know why I'm apologising, but I can apologise. I don't know whether I actually am apologising or whether I can only. I can, but I won't. I don't know. It would be, no, it would be rude if I didn't apologise, wouldn't it? So I'm, not, I'm certainly not arrogant, so... Um, now we'll put that on the back of the. Do this, cut this in half. Put that there. Put that there. Don't know how this is going to turn out. I've not made this one before. I've made the others before. Oh uh, no, I haven't made the blue one either before. So I've not actually made any of them. No, <laughs> I have. I've made. Oh, that's not even sticky, Dave. And neither is that. Well, let's try again. Um, I've made. I've made one of them before, <laughs> out of the three of them. I've only ever made one before, but, you know, it's it's fine. I'm ever a trier. I also needed something I didn't really need to edit because <laughs> my editing capabilities are, are very limited. Is that going to go on there without it looking ridiculous? Do I need it on the back of the flame? No, I don't, Dave. You're just being an idiot. So... Stick them. Oh, now, you've, now you've cut them. You need to put them somewhere. Um, let's cut a bit off. So peel the back of this off. You use a different tool every time, Dave. Why don't you? Um, once we've got these off, let's hope the uh, it's not transferring any ink from my desktop 
because you know, I don't tend to clean my bench very often, so that was uncontrolled. On that, I'll get off me. Um, so I'm kind of making these as I was going to make them as decorations, but I think I'm going to use them as like alternatives to Christmas cards. Because I'm I'm all at work. I don't I don't tend to write Christmas cards for family and friends and that sort of thing. I just you know they're just I wish them well and you know send them a text message and that sort of thing. But I don't actually I stopped writing Christmas cards. But um, I tend to find that at work somebody will always it doesn't matter whether you know you don't send them one last year they still send you one so um rather than buying some christmas cards which don't mean anything i thought i'd make some things like this and then people can um you know they they feel like i've responded favorably to them i'm cutting these up i could be using them um by sending them a card but i've made it and it's always much nicer isn't it if you've made something i'd rather receive a handmade something than a mass produced anybody could do it thing so um and i think most people do prefer i you know so i'd looks like a gift i'd rather have a very small handmade something than a huge expensive something now you know vic if you're watching that doesn't mean you um that means that you have to buy me extra expensive things <laughs> no you don't well, you do actually <laughs> you do there'll be very uh, somebody very sulky on christmas day if not um, so don't go taking back anything that you bought me uh, but other people you know if they're people like acquaintances not that, I, not that I know many acquaintances that would buy me anything to be fair um, but you know or or cash cold hard cash Every, everybody likes cold hard cash you can buy something of, you, of your choosing that way um Although, you know, there's a whole thing about, like, giving people cash. Oh, oh, people always just say, well, it's a bit of a cop-out, isn't it, if you don't, like, you don't actually think about a nice gift for somebody. I, I always think, no, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather give somebody cash if I don't know what they want rather than buying something, that, some tat that they're either not going to use or they'll give, try and give to somebody else next year or might give it you back because they've forgotten who gave it to them, so... And then you, uh, but you remember when they give it to you, they're like, yeah, I gave you this last year. That's if you've got the courage to say that to them. You probably go, oh, that's lovely, thank you. And then say things behind their back. <laughs> so, anyway, I'd like to just, you know, you could have to bear, bear with me today because I'm just, um, I'm just rambling. So, um, t you are my therapy today, and I've. J I, uh, this is the re the reason I came up. I've got the back off it. That's got the back off it. Yeah, cool. The reason I came up to do this is I knew I needed to do a video, but I, I came up at this particular time um, because I was sat down on the sofa and I was nice and cosy. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> I did close my eyes for like two minutes. Like, oh, no, no falling asleep now. So, see, they're not perfectly lined up, but they don't have to be. I'm telling you, they don't have to be. So, on this one, the candle kind of sits between the two. So rather than putting a three layers in the middle, I'm just going to do a bit of this on this side, and a bit of this on this side. Oh, the back of that's 
come off anyway, on this side, and then it should sit and catch either side of there, which it will. Whew. So, I think I think this 3D tape might have been a bit big actually. It's a bit. I used to call it foam tape, but I'll. I know that people call it 3D tape now. It's like it's like slow stitching and hand stitching. I used to call it hand stitching. It's now called slow stitching. So it's like I used to call patchwork patchwork, and now it's called English paper piecing. So I have to get with the times. It's like uh, you know, got to get with down with the kids. I can get down with the kids. I just can't get back up again. So, <laughs> but um. I think I've recycled that joke many times. You can, nobody can say Dave doesn't recycle, because I do. My jokes are very often recycled. More's the pity. Um, so, oh yeah, the uh, another one, another joke. Sorry, just I don't know why, why I'm talking about jokes. I did say it was going to be very random today, so. How do you get Pikachu on the bus? Pokemon. Now, if you don't understand, if you've never seen Pokemon, then you won't get that reference. So. <laughs> so, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Other animated games are available. Not sponsored by Pikachu or Pokemon play it but I don't I'm not in affiliation with them this is going to be all caggy handed caggy handed does that translate oh I struggle all the time with like with the things translate or not whether people know what I'm talking about um I don't know what's what. How could you describe caggy handed? Um, clumsy, clumsily made. Basically, there's probably an easier and more refined way to make this, but I'm making it with the the skills I have at hand at the moment, which are three hours sleep of sleep, some a pair of sticky scissors, and a pokey tool. So we're doing the best we can. And that's all that matters. Um, I've got some exciting stuff happening in the new year, which I can't tell you about yet, because it's not the new year yet. We haven't even got to Christmas yet. Um, it's not, you know, it's exciting for me. It might not be exciting for you, but it's exciting for me. So. I'll tell you more about it when it's kind of all finalised. Um, but I've, I've been a bit of a giddy kipper of late over the, over the last few days about what's coming up. Um, I've got some digital kits that I've got to release. Um, my obviously my Christmas digitals are out, and you can get those if you wish. Um, I'm contemplating setting up my own website, just a Squarespace style one, um, simply because sales on Etsy have been appalling and everybody's doing, everybody's struggling on, it, on Etsy at the moment so um, and a lot of people doing their own commerce site. Oh, I'm not going to get this off here, am I? I was going to say never, Dave. Do it. Yep, there we go. Are they all? Yep, they're all sticky now. So this needs to layer up here. Like that. Does that catch on there? It does. That's fine. Probably not the best angle but never mind there we go that's that okay so then we've got this layer which is going to go on here 
this is the holly layer so again we need to have some more of this I was just thinking what do I do what am I doing I don't know what I'm doing flip it over put these on a bit close to the edge Dave <coughs> Hopefully the others won't be quite so painful to make. Um, so yeah, um, I'm thinking about having a my own web space. You know, these are all just thoughts. At the moment, I'd like at the moment I can hardly um, cope with the hours that I'm doing at work without thinking about setting any other new things up. Um, and that's th some of the reason why people uh, people have said to me, you know, um, you know, you could do with right, making this digital and that digital and bringing this thing out and that thing out. And I just at the moment, I just don't have time. And we're all a bit strapped for time at this time of year as well, aren't we? So, um, but myself and Vic have got Monday off. With uh, so Monday, uh, it's kind of a Vic. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, uh, because Vic works in the hospitality sector. He has he doesn't get the weekends off because they're the busiest times, so, and especially on the run up to Christmas, this this is a really busy time for them. So he gets Mondays off. Mondays and Tuesdays are usually his weekend. So we've I've booked Monday off to spend with him. We're going to go to. Leeds city centre. So, if anybody wants to know where I am, I'm near Leeds. So, Leeds is my main city nearby. Um, I'm about, I don't know, what am I from Leeds? Alexa, how far is it to Leeds? Leeds is 14.8 kilometres away by car. Alexa, what's 14.8 kilometres in miles? 14.8 kilometres. So yeah, it's about nine miles away. There you go. So, um, I drive. I drive. No, I'm not driving. And what am I doing, Dave? There's nothing to anchor that to. If you put that there. Uh, yes, I am driving, but I don't. That isn't what I was trying to say. Uh, we're going to Leeds. So like I can say it's the nearest city. Not far away at all. Um and to do some Christmas shopping because there's a nice John Lewis store there and again so like if you want any cultural references well from from my cultural point of view look up John Lewis and look up Leeds and you'll be able to see roughly like kind of where I live I live in Batley which is far a bit further out it's actually cl technically classed as Wakefield and although Wakefield is probably equidistant from me to Leeds um, Leeds is a much nicer city um, Wakefield, Wakefield's got a beautiful cathedral like smack bang in the centre of the city but it's not as nice for shops um, so Leeds has got a much nice shop, nicer shopping centre although um a shopping centre for us it basically is a mall but it's a, a it's, it's a city centre mall rather than an out of town one um, and what was I uh, so yeah it's just it's just a nice place to shop if like you really want to go somewhere really nice to shop around here um, that would be York but York's a bit further away York's a you know, a good hour's drive away from here, so, um, and it's a nightmare to park in, and it's very expensive to park in, especially this time of year, um, but it has a lot more independent shops rather than the big high street names, but I do like a, a mooch around John Lewis, it doesn't feel like Christmas until I've been to John Lewis, so two things for Christmas is you have to have I have to have seen the John Lewis Christmas ad, which this year I'm, I'm not a big fan of. It's okay, it's alright, it's not the tear jerker like it is 
most years. And if you've never seen a John Lewis ad, you need to check one of them out as well. But this year, not so much. Um, and I have to, so the John Lewis ad, and I also need to have been in a John Lewis store in order to make it feel like it's Christmas for me. I'm going to put that on. I'm going to do that as a 3D thing as well. Um, I've got some other 3D things to make. I've got. Um, I've made. Um, I've got a thing for <coughs> thick to make, um, but I just haven't made that yet. Um, I should get round to it, isn't it? Doing, doing all of these things, you know, you all these great ideas. Oh, I'll I'll do that, and like you get uh, you, your nose to the grindstone right up until Christmas Eve, trying to do all of these things that you've promised yourself you were going to do. I've got most of my Christmas presents. <coughs> Not all of them. <coughs> I'm sure. Excuse me. I'm going to have to take a drink. Sorry. I'm sure there's many presents that I could get, but I'm gonna. Tr I'm trying not to. So normally, what happens is I buy presents throughout the year and put them away, forget about them, buy more presents in the run of Christmas, and then go. Oh no, I forgot about those. Um, but this year, I know where where all the presents are, and I've taken stock of what I've got, and I'm not. I'm going to try not to buy any more on the run up to Christmas. So I'm also trying to get myself financially fit. So by that I mean, I've, since the breakup of my marriage, my finances have been terrible. Um, and I want to kind of get into that space where they are um, financially more secure again. Um, because, you know, one day I'd like to retire. I can retire. I, my mortgage finishes when I'm 67. I won't ever be able to afford to... Well, I won't be able to afford to retire at, at 67. That's a fact. But I could retire a little after that I guess if I get myself financially fit but you know that's all ages away yeah I'm only 54 so and that's one of the other reasons for doing YouTube -y things you know it brings in a little extra revenue here and there, not from YouTube, but like from my digitals and stuff. So, so there we go. That oh no, there's there's the flames, the flaming flames. So they just get stuck to there, don't they? Well, which way up do they go? Not that way then. That way. No, that way. That way. Is it that way? Yeah, must be. Oh dear, I could do with a. Beep, 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 beep. No, not, they don't make that noise, Dave. Oh. Do with one of those. To put that on, as my. I have fat finger syndrome. I have got fat fingers. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Which way round does this go? It won't fit like that. Oh, I've glued it on the wrong side. Better have. Yes, I have, you idiot, Dave. Oh well. It'll dry clear. It'll give it a slight glisten. Oh well. It helps if you concentrate. It helps if you have a brain. If I only had a brain. I'm going to say it adds to the aesthetics. I can't pinch. I've got no strength in my fingers to be able to pinch that back open again. Then, um, I say it adds to the aesthetics. 
with the, the streak down the middle. Right, so then that's that. Right. Can I pick that up? Okay. Was that going to go there? Yep, that does go there. Stick that one there. And then this one must be the other one. That's what it does. There we go, perfect. It's going to go on there. And don't you have to let go of the squeezers. Squeezer tweezer. There we go. So that's that one. That's the the candly thing. So anyway, that's that one made. Move that out of the way. Didn't need my hole punched ones in the end. So let's make this one. And I'm just going to glue this one together. I'm not going to do the layering thing. So this goes... I think it's this way around. That one. Actually, the star's meant to be that side. I don't know which way around I'm at. I cut this, actually. Was it that way around? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like that. This blue, I thought... Oh, it is lighter. It doesn't look as light as I thought it would do. So that's going to be there. And then that goes over the top of there. Yeah, that's good. We like that. So this this is the one that's going to get glued to that. Don't need to think about a ribbon because it's got a hole for one. And make sure it goes up to the edge. Don't come apart. But obviously you don't want to cover up the stars. And then, oh, that got stuck to me. And then layer that up. On there. Is that right? Pick that up and get it centred a bit better. There we go. That's that. Give it a squeegee over perfect then we're going to put it was that way around wasn't it how does it look if it's that way around if I do it that way there's there and that there oh, I, oh, no. oh no hang on that's the wrong way that way that's the linen side up yeah no that doesn't work because it covers up the stars it's that way so I'm going to put that on because this is the like American cardstock stuff. Not that I can get American cardstock stuff in the UK anymore. I don't even know whether they've have they stopped making it. I mean, like you know, I'm asking you guys in America whether they've stopped making it or if they just stopped exporting it. Because no one seems to do it anymore. I used to be able to get it lots of places. I used to get it on Am Amazon, but I can't get it anymore. So. And it is my absolute favourite for, especially using with cricket. But if I'm not going to be able to get it, I'm not going to be able to get it. I'm going to have to find something else. And in the UK, we are, we are very limited on what choice we have over these kind of things because uh, you know the these kind of American companies and tools that you know, like cricket, but like the UK doesn't make its own version of a cricket we just, we just have a cricket so or a brother scan and cut or just try and get a little bit on his antlers so his antlers don't bend off heaven forbid he's losing an antler he'd be a unidea that way lost one antler um It'd be an O oh dear, wouldn't it? Really. Um, <laughs> moving on swiftly. Terrible jokes. I can't think what I was going to say. Yeah. So yeah, we don't have you know loads of different types of cardstock that we can buy instead. So and some of the cardstock is terrible. Like not, it, you can't use it for stuff like this because 
it's too chalky and it blunts your your um, cutting tool. So, um, talking of which, I just thought I need to buy a new blade for my Cricut. So, well, a blade. I mean, a few blades. Thought that the other day, and then forgot to put it on my Amazon wish list. It's not something I want for Christmas, but if I put it on my Amazon wish list, then it's there for me to come back to when I'm a bit more compass mentis. But I'll try and remember to do it tonight. So I haven't eaten yet. So I didn't want to. I, what I tend to do is I tend to make a video, and then while I'm eating, it can be rendering or uploading or whatever it's doing. There we go. So that's that one. There we go. And then we're going to make this one. So this one is a little bit different. This has got a little hole here. I need to poke it out. And you need to thread it before you actually assemble it because you won't see this hole after it's after it's been and gone. Uh, I did have some. Where, oh where would you be? Where on earth are you? I just want to find you. Mm. Oh, what's there? What's this? Oh, hang on. Is that all I've got? No. Oh, hang on. No, there's more. So I'm going to thread this through here. This is the one I've made before. Twice I've like got it through the hole and then move my fingers and it's fallen out again. Don't want it to be too long. Long enough but not too long. Right, I'm going to tie it there. Hang on, let's cut that off Dave. Hang on. So, oh Dave. Do that again. Try again. Even a knot is beyond you. So I'm going to tie. I'm going to tie it in a knot, and then tie it in another knot. Do it the other way around this time, um, because we don't want it coming undone. Because, of, like I say, once you've assembled this, you don't ever see this hole again. So you can make me whole again. Oh, shut up, Dave. Just going to pull it nice and taut. Don't pull it too tight because you just snap it. So do that, and then if I turn the knot into there, then we won't see it again. Cool. Okay, so these I had a, I struggled to get these off the mat, so they're kind of ripped, but they you're not really going to see it because it's going to go on like that. That's what I mean. It covers that up. So do I want? Yeah, I do want to layer this one. This one's a bit more forgiving on the amount of tape that you can use so please have been oh good I'm going to say please be faced up and it was I didn't want it to have stuck to that I, oh the, there is another colour of that that it's supposed to cut but uh, could I get it to cut it without tearing it no and I think that's why I need a new blade so and I did swap it for a blade that I, I had that I thought was new, but I, I, I don't think it is because it also teared it, tore it, torn it, whatever. That thing, the word escapes me. Torn it? Teared it. Teared it. Well, I mean, torn it is actually a word, but like it's, it's, not, it's not grammatically correct. In, it did actually torn it. It did actually tear it. That's what I was trying to say. Shut up, Dave. It's just over explaining something now. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. All right. Well, let's find the nice. The, I always think you look at the top edge first more. So let's do that. Hold that like that. And then put that Whoa. down. Whoa. Doing it again. Whoa. Sound effects are optional. Oh well, it's kind of 
is it staying there? Is it staying there or can I pull it off again? I can pull it off, that's fine. Okay, we can get out of the way. So that's that. So I'm going to layer all this side up first and then we'll flip it. Oh, yeah, no, then we'll flip it over and do the, the other side. So, so then it's this one which is next. And there is a front and a back to this. That's the front. And we'll layer that up with some stuff as well. We'll put that one on this one. Oh, hang on. I've just said one's the front and one's the back. And I think I've nearly stuck it to the wrong bit. That's the front, that's the back. Okay. That's fine. No, don't stick it there, Dave. I'm just thinking, did I take the back off the other ones? And I must have done because it stuck down, so I just don't remember. Oh dear, how bad is that? My memory's terrible today. It's like I rang my mum. I mean, like I've had a, a long, not to just today that was a long day. I've had a long few days. I rang my mum yesterday and said, I haven't spoken to you this week, have I? <laughs> she was a bit concerned that I couldn't remember. She says, uh, no. What? what, what? Why? Why do you think you might have spoken? I was, no, I just can't remember, Mum. I've just had a bad week, so. It's a bit shaggy on the, on a few of the edges, but never mind. So there's that, and then we're going to put one of these on. There, and one of that on. Oh, I'll use this bit instead of tearing another bit off. So that's this bit, so that's going to be... That's definitely the back because it's all shabby. Not shabby shutters. Dave, use the same method every time. Consistency is the key. Um. Yeah, so I have no idea whether I've spoken to her or not, so. That's how your brain works, isn't it? Well, or doesn't. When you're overtired. And I've got, in my head, I've got, looking back on when we first got... Oh, that's because, um... I, I said something with a reference to that, and I can't even think what that was now. Uh, oh, yeah. You can make me whole again. That's what it was. <laughs> Shut up, Dave. I, I catch myself sometimes and think, oh, gosh, how annoying are you? So, apologies for being so annoying. Or or not, if you like it. So, so there's that. And then we have another one, which is this. Now this is when it's getting to into the microscopic microscopic isn't it? I just reverse that. It's getting into the microscopic realms now of me trying to put one of these in the middle of that without you seeing it from this side. So that's better. Maybe that one will work better. Maybe if I do that I can. Oh yes, that worked a treat. Now I've got to get the back off it without pulling it off the thing, though. That would be a good idea. Let's try that version this time. No. Nope. I've contemplated watching a TV program instead of coming and doing a video. I bet you're wishing I'd gone and done the TV program. I'd gone and watched the TV program now rather than you have to suffer watching me make this. I just think these are really nice and effective. Now this one obviously isn't going to flat have a flat back like this has. So I could make this a card, like you know, write something on the back of it. This one it hasn't, but what I do is I hang a little tag off it and then say I've because I've used this as a 
Christmas, you know, card before. So, and that's what I did last time. Is I just hung a little tag off the back. Oh, Dave, don't put it on that side. That's not the side you're going to stick down. That's the side you're going to stick down. Nearly went horribly wrong, but only nearly. Workspace is getting a bit cluttered, sorry. There's a hole here that hasn't poked out. And the back of that one is quite torn up. I couldn't get it off the mat, that one. So, no, take the things off the back. It always looks so easy when other people do it, and then I struggle. Not always, but I'm struggling today. Um, so yeah, so it's the 1st of December tomorrow, so I'm, I'm, I've now been thinking, okay, right, gonna have to plan in some point, at, w at which point I'm gonna be able to put my tree up. A, I've gotta go and buy one. Um, so I've got to go. I mean, like I say it like it's a chore. I love going Christmas tree shopping. I usually take the um, the sad-looking one home. You know, the one that's left that nobody else wanted because it's a bit it's a bit misshapen. Because, like, I always think, well, it's a metaphor for me, isn't it? Really, so. I was the one that got picked last in the sports team selection and um so I don't want the I don't want um the trees to have hard feelings and you know never grow up to well they won't grow up to be anything because they they've been cut down in their prime literally I oh, know it's it's sad isn't it it's not <laughs> Get out a bit more, shouldn't I? Oh, I nearly cut the, I nearly cut the um, microphone wire then. That would have been interesting. What do you want for Christmas? Oh, a new microphone. That would be good. That's one of the reasons why I'm holding off on getting a new phone. Well, I, I need to replace my phone. So, um, and the new iPhones now have a USB-C charger so I haven't changed my microphone because I currently have to have one have to have a microphone that plugs into the lightning port and when with the new one it will plug into a USB-C so I, I, when I upgrade my phone you know I'm like Three years overdue for upgrading my phone. I used to have a phone every year, and you know, just kind of, it doesn't mean that much to me anymore. Right? Okay, what did I do? I had a roundy point at the top, and I'm going to have a pointy point at the top this time. You know, it's not a status symbol for me anymore. It wasn't really a status symbol anyway, but like it was like you kind of have to keep up with Joneses. When you're younger, you feel you have to be, you have to fit in. And I used to work with a, a a group of very young people, and so I kind of had to feel. I felt like I, you know, I'd have the same as them, and keep my youthfulness. But now I don't worry about things like that. It's I am what I am. I won't sing it. But I am. Well, I am. Oh, Dave, you first class idiot. Oh, but it peeled off, so I'm lucky. That's where you're meant to stick that. Along with that. I wonder if that will go in there. Yep, it will. Um. So yeah, so now I can. Re so in the new year, I'm hoping to replace my iPhone. It's just getting to the point where the battery doesn't hold its charge as long, and 
Um, I've had a few glitches where like it's just frozen on me um, or where it's not charged that's an annoying thing I put it on a uh, wireless charger so it sits on a pad at night and I've woken up in the morning picked it up off the pad gone gone to go to work and I'm like oh this hasn't charged what the why so it's just that I'm gonna have to buy I'll have to bite bite the bullet and have a new one just again you know I'm saying I'm, I'm trying to get financially fit and I'm trying not to spend money where I don't need to Apple has other plans though and yes I am an Apple user and I know that I could buy probably buy a Samsung for less or a, you know another Android but I can't use Androids I buy Androids for the fleet of phones at work so you know, it's one of the many duties that I do I do all the contract negotiation stuff um, and I just I can't get on with it personally which way around did I have that one? I pointed up onto a thing, so that's going to be that way this time. Um, but they're cheaper, so I'll buy them for the fleet. So. And we've got this one to go in the middle, haven't we? That way up. That small thing, so we can get that in the middle of there without seeing it might show a little bit I'm always of the opinion if you're going to quibble about how something looks that somebody's given you then you don't deserve it way around to do that that was oh that was space up that's point up this time there we go so then it's a case of flip it over and put a little one of them somewhere and I'm just gonna glue that on I'm just gonna glue it in the middle That pinch that into there, into place. And flip it over and do the same on the other side. I have to say these are just um, off Cricut. I I used to subscribe all year round to the Cricut access plan, but I only ever have it now at Christmas. Don't don't tell cricket that though, will you? <laughs> and then we're going to put some of these one of them that way round. You can just dot them wherever you fancy. But I think I'm going to have maybe three in a thing together at the top. that um, flip it over and then go for maybe one there might not do three together this time I feel like watching a Christmas movie again have one there well I can tell you now if I put it on tonight I'll be asleep in no time now you see the thing for me that with these is these aren't holly leaves these are holly berries these are mistletoe leaves with holly berries but you know I'm not going to go there <laughs> uh, what should I do put that there and then maybe have two together up here I can't have it like that though there we go I can have it like that I'll flip that over and we'll just have no, we're just going to leave three on one side and then a few like that. So, there we go. 
That's what I'm gonna have to unglue those scissors now. Those scissors are completely sticky, stickied up. Let's get some um, surgical spirit or um, what's that stuff that we used in the pandemic? What's the, what's the stuff called? Uh, hand sanitizer. <laughs> Use some hand sanitizer on it. <laughs> <coughs> I'm make myself laugh now. So, okay, so there we go. So we've just made a few little 3D um, decorations. Where I should put them? So I stick them to there. You're thinking, oh, he's done that off camera. He's obviously been very good and stuck them somewhere good. No, I've just stuck them to the edge of a jar. To be fair. Um, so, yes, I'm going to leave those out because I want to do something with them. Um, so there we go. Yeah. So I'd like anyway. Do you, hopefully, you, hopefully you like that. You know what I haven't done though. I've just realised I didn't put a ribbon on that one. So I'll use this. Put a ribbon on this one. And I'm just going to tie it. I think, and then put it through as a as a. Thing. Oh no, you're not going to tie it. We're going to have a longer one for that. I might be able to tie that on a better day, but today, nope, that's not happening. So we're going to tie it like so, and then I'm going to fold that over like so so and then snippy off so you, oh, guarantee that was going to happen couldn't you so you've got like this kind of traditional looking end to my ribbon so i'm going to stick that through there very good for me like these are clean these are not I haven't um thingied them to a, within an inch of their life you know uh yeah that thing inked them to within an inch of their life there we go so there we go i hope you yeah like i say i hope you like that and hope you've just spent some time with me i know i haven't i'm, I'm going to be making some more things i've got a few more things in the pipeline I've got some more folios sorry <laughs> for those people that are saying stop <laughs> um, but yeah I've got a few more folios to do um, I'd like to try and start a Christmas journal I know it's the wrong time of year to be starting a Christmas journal I should be finishing it off now but um, I'd like to give it a go um, I've got some um, I don't know whether I can find them now uh, I've got some covers that uh, Brian has donated to me, so like there's this Christmas, there's this definitely a Christmassy one here, and there's this one. So, um, and oh, and the other thing I wanted to say is uh, I've been dying my string. I don't know whether I told you I've been dying st my string. And these are these are the results. So I just wanted to talk. Uh, to, oh, that's what we'll do. We'll talk about this before I go. So, this it, these are all drying on the radiator. So. All of these here, these are tea. So this is tea and this is tea. It's just different types of string, so that's the reason why it's taken different a different shade. Um, that way around is the same. Uh, so this is spiced tea, so this is the one that you usually see me drinking on camera, which is a, uh, uh, what is it, um, caffeine-free one. It's actually a bedtime tea. It's tea with a caffeine free tea with a spicy blend to it so and it smells spicy um and so that's a bit of a lighter color because it is a lighter tea uh and then this is coffee so again that way around is the same so this is coffee dyed um again two different types of string here and then we've got the um this that's this so i like it like this and it's a bit new looking for me like that for especially for the utilitarian stuff 
and then this is done with saffron and this is my saffron again do it that way around and you can see the difference so that's the saffron um you i mean like this is just like leftover saffron um this is like second dunking you know when like you used saffron you might made saffron water and there's a few bits left and i just take them out and put them into another lot of um thing if you're going to roll them in a tea towel to dry them uh just be aware that saffron will stain so that's saffron um so i just prefer it to like you know bring in white string that's what that was this color so um and then this is the things falling off it but this is fruit tea so this is actually a black currant fruit tea so it's come out this lovely purple color and this one's kind of gone a bit mottly like some of it is darker and lighter and then that is actually that is not that color so that was originally in the saffron and it wasn't taking any color and then i put it in this and still hasn't taken any color but it's just kind of gone up off white which is fine actually you can see a little bit of the tint to it so so anyway that's that's that so another <laughs> another topic of conversation i keep looking at that and thinking i'm i must show you what i've what i've been doing with my uh, so i do the string dyeing um and i try all sorts of different things i've done it with onion um skins and i've done it with um uh not artichoke what's the other one <coughs> aubergine no not aubergine um <laughs> it's the thing that's it's a uh, uh, avocado i've done it with avocado skins um and i've done all sorts of different things but like this so i do the string and brian does all the coffee and tea sheet dyeing and you know different types of dyeing and things so because i've got the space to do this i don't have the space to do the paper so anyway that's it so um so i'm sure uh you know you can you know do your own or you know if you want any tips then you know have a chat in the conversation in the comment comments bit i don't even know what i'm talking about should i go now yeah probably a good idea say goodbye dave goodbye dave um, so thank you all for watching my name is Dash of Dave don't forget I love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to so don't give me a reason not to and um, I'll see you another time when I'll string you another tail all right then folks take care of yourself <coughs> lots of love lots of hugs thanks for keeping me awake and uh, in a good way all right thanks folks take care bye bye